Well, they have been on the move for days at a very slow pace. Tonight, the crews moving those giant crates across the Houston area and stopping traffic along the way are facing yet another hurdle. It's a caravan that's been plagued by yep. problems, including drunken drivers. Channel 2 anchor Keith Garvin joining us live tonight to explain. Keith? Bill Dominique, we're in Alvin at Highway 35 near FM 528. Let me give you a look at those two giant crates and the caravan that is transporting them. It started in Northwest Houston on Friday. They and their crew are parked on the side of the road right now. The owner of the company, I spoke to him just a few minutes ago, the company that's in charge of the move. And he says everyone involved simply just needed a day to take a break and recharge. He says what's caused most of the slowdowns has been the need for power companies to de-energize power lines along the route so the crates can pass underneath all those power lines. The power company, basically what they have to do is cause a mini power outage, and it's a process that can take quite a while. They're moving basically uh, one mile, one to two miles every every three hours or so. So a very, very slow process. And so for those of you who uh, have forgotten exactly what's inside these crates, and why they're so important. Uh, the two crates contain three sections of a drilling ship that was ordered by Samsung Heavy Industries. So they need to get it down to the uh, Bayport Cruise Terminal near Seabrook. So what is the caravan's new estimated time of arrival? Well, they plan to start moving here again from this location at around 7.30 uh, tomorrow night. And from there, they hope to move into Friendswood by Thursday morning and make it to that Bayport Terminal in, near Seabrook on Friday morning. So fingers are crossed for them. They're hoping they uh, get that done as quickly as possible. It's been a very, very long haul, as you said, fraught with a, a lot of different issues. Reporting live from Alvin, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News.